Spirits go mad if denied passage to the underworld. They are strong, but you can fight them. You can't kill the dead, but in defeat they are disrupted and can't reform for a time. You are tied to the reason why spirits wander. Many appeared after your people fell, and some are held in this cave. They are drawn to your amulet. It is a head waiting for you. Be careful. It is desired by many seeking power beyond the mortal realm. I make no apology for these trials, my student. You will come to see how necessary they are. Okay, the explosion wasn't necessary. I don't see jack shit. The dragon amulet was with you in Dirge. I understand what it does, but you are the one meant to be trained in its use. I am sorry that my actions denied you this. Essence gems are used by healers and upstart sorcerers and are common enough to be wasted on ornamentation. But with this amulet, you can tap their true potential. I'm glad we have voiceover. That makes things easier. What? <laughs> Your people were adept at using essence gems. I kept it from you because power is a beacon. The forces behind the restless dead will take an interest in you. Even mindless spirits may be drawn to you, just as they were confined here. In achieving your true power, you become a target that many will not be able to resist. Where am I? There we are. Damn, that fast? Thousand cuts. <laughs> Fuck, I'm on fire. Stop jumping in the fire. Take all that sauce. Hey, look, it's a pot. Break it. I guess I guess this is gonna explode too, right? you realize your importance. The restless dead must be allowed to find their way to the underworld. All of us will suffer if things continue as they are. Damn, that's kind of hefty, don't you Seek think? Seek the source of this problem and eradicate it. That is your purpose and burden. I hope that the basics I have taught you will aid you in setting everything right. Another explosion right next to my face. I might have tetanus. Tinnitus. That thing where your ears start hurting. Please don't shut down Gate Jade Empire. Oh god. Not all spirits succumb to bestial rage. A strong will can transcend death. These beings may have powers beyond any living foe, and intelligence to beguile and confuse. All will suffer if the dead remain this way. Soon you must leave two rivers. 
Seek the source of this problem, even if it leads to the heart of the Empire. Man, what if I, I just wanted to... I have old friends who may guide you, but I have old enemies too. The cave is secure. Meditate on what you see here. When you leave, all will be changed. Wait for it. <laughs> Fucking there it is! Of course. Sariawaf, <laughs> No, this doesn't have to end in conflict. Okay, well, I guess you're about to get this ass whooped now. I'm so pretty. So, this is my new crib. I'm in the spirit world. She's pretty too. My power is stretched thin, bled away, and you are too small, too mortal to truly understand. But small things can move beneath the notice of others. Your master hopes that you will grow strong while he leads the predators away. His reasons are clouded, but you must find a way through the fog. Okay. You are the one who can hear, the one who can act. Search, but look also for yourself. You are a spirit monk, and you are the last. Damn. I do not have the strength to answer. I am cut open, and the way to the underworld is shut. Spirits are lost with no shepherd, no guardians. You must restore us. The amulet is a focus. It will guide you. But when you know both sides of the veil of death, ability alone will save you. I have a moment of power. A window to grant knowledge of a primal energy. You must choose between ice and fire, and I will grant the skill to bring them to your hands. I have energy enough only to instill knowledge of one, not both. 
Knowledge of the other may come in time, but not today. Emotions burn within, that can be coaxed outwards as well. Harness this to bring fire to your hands. Yours is the power to unleash dire flame. Hell yeah! That sounds wicked. There is no inherent villainy in any martial action, only in the hearts of those who wield them. If you rely too much on simple force, then you cannot act without it. I can do no more. I must fade. Pity those spirits that have grown twisted. You will come to know their pain when life leaves you. Pity the world if you fail, spirit monk, for you are the last. Yeah, dire flame. Um, read that. I'm not saying all that aloud. Wow. I just mugged that guy's body. I don't feel bad about it at all. I still can't believe I looted that man's body. Honestly, I thought it was going to be like a scroll or something, but then it was just nah. <laughs> are supposed to be meditating on the amulet and what you have learned for at least another day. What? A spirit released you? That explains your strange exit. This is a very sudden development I did not foresee. Perhaps it has something to do with your amulet. No. Uh, tell me, did you learn anything about the destiny that stretches before you or what has led you this far? Be careful. I do not want you to be misled by sources I cannot anticipate. Mm. Your people had warriors by that name. I regret that my actions caused their downfall. Okay, but what are they? Twenty years ago, the Empire was mired in drought. Your people revered the Water Dragon, so their Temple of Dirge was the ideal place to ask the heavens for help. But the Water Dragon governed more than just moisture. The drought was part of the natural order, and not for mortals to alter. The spirit monks denied us access. The Emperor was incensed. He asked me to plan a display of power that would force their compliance. As our armies marched, I realized how wrong we were. They were. I could not dissuade my brother. So I fled with you. You must discover for yourself what being the last of your kind means. What else did this vision reveal? You were only to retrieve the amulet, learn to place gems in it, and meditate on your future. I don't want you to be distracted. I'm done. Meditate. 
Master Lee, there's still no sign of her. What? What is it, Wu? I'm sorry, my mind was elsewhere. Dawnstar, as I told you, Master. She went missing after Gao's men were discovered in the school. The state of her room suggests some sort of fight took place. I see. She is not there. No! No, Master Lee. There's no sign of her. I see. This may prove useful. Thank you, Jing Wu. You may go. Your appearance put Gao's disgrace out of my mind, but it would seem that your early exit from the caves has come at just the right time. I don't trust you. I doubt she has come to harm. She is a strong woman, as you know. That doesn't mean you shouldn't search for her. It will be a good measure of your ability. What better way to show mastery over your abilities than to turn them towards helping your fellow student? I'm not doing this because she's a student. I'm Seek doing it because she's my friend. I doubt and she because is in she the might, school. She and just got someone kidnapped. would have seen her if she was in the village. You might want to try the surrounding marshland. That is good. Time is very important. Here, take some... You learned in the cave how single gems are viewed as trinkets and used by self-professed healers and would-be sorcerers, but you can unlock their full potential. Make sure you have everything you need when you leave to find Dawnstar. Do not cloud your mind with anything else. When you return, your course will be clear. Oh, hell yeah, that's some money. Let me out of this hole. So, kind of not really. Thank you. with a single blow and laughed as this poor boy gasped his last. Whoa, what the hell? You! Gao the Lesser did this. He was dragging some sort of sack and this boy challenged him. This brave young man stopped Gao and demanded to know what he was carrying. Gao just laughed at him and tried to walk on by, but this student challenged him. Gao just shrugged, turned, and killed this poor boy in one blow. I couldn't say. It was awfully large and looked heavy, but I was watching from a ways away. We didn't want to get close to that murderer. Damn, y'all could have, like... We hid out of sight as Gao went toward the gate, out of town. Y'all could have overwhelmed him. Gao was in a rush, but you might... Be on your guard if you truly mean to pursue... I can't there believe y'all didn't try and overwhelm him. I hear your friend is gone missing. More importantly, my stock has arrived. Breathing. What can I. I haven't seen or heard anything. Had I spotted the boy, I certainly wouldn't have let him go by after something like that. That's just not right, killing off one of my customers. What the hell? Come to think of it, I did hear something. Maybe you should ask Gu Jin. He only one, but it passes by the swamps. You don't want to travel through there alone. Too many outlaws make their home in that marsh. If you... I just received some new...
And another person dead? Holy shit. It's a bit of a shame what happened to the guard here. The fool got in the way of Gao the Lesser. The young master thought you might come after him, so he left us here to slow you down. You were lucky against those bandits, but we're not so easy to push around. Well, as you said, you're only gonna slow me down. You aren't even scared, are you? Trained soldiers threatening you and you aren't even blinking. No wonder Gal the Lesser didn't want to face you. If you want to go after him, just go. It's not worth fighting with you. Run. Oh, my head feels like a war drum, and the battle did not go in the Empire's favor. What happened? I, I was speaking with... with... Gao, that spoiled little noisy cricket. He hit me without cause. That repulsive... I wish I'd known ahead of time. You know, before he hit me. Gate guards were an unappreciated lot. I'm sorry about that, student. I truly am. I didn't see her. He was dra- He said no, just the key to the gate, and then he conjured this ball of flame around his hand. I don't really remember what happened next. I might have passed out. No one's ever threatened me before. There's only one place he- What, what did he do? Why would he resort to attacking me just- What? That arrogant whelp! I- Go on. You asked. Quit crying, fool, or we will gut you like a carp. My poor Fen, what have you done to her? Who's there? More gal soldiers? I'm through hiding. <laughs> Gone. She's gone. They took her away, my beautiful Fen, my flower of the fields. Please, my name is Hing, and you must help me. My Fen is so delicate, she will chafe under a bandit's yoke. These reeds hide so many thieves. You could walk right past a camp and not see it. There's no telling where they took your friend. Or my Fen. I knew we were getting too close to the marshes. Why was I so foolish? Of course these thieves would strike at my beautiful Fen. I can't leave without her. They'll work her to death or eat her or worse. Can you do anything? Please? I thank you. And my Fen... My precious flower of the fields. I can't leave without her. monkeys are all oh. I am no common bandit I've been hunted by far worse than you
Oh, shit, man. Hey, 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 hey. Hold your attack, young student. I am not your enemy. This was a misunderstanding. Jesus. I have tried very hard to go unnoticed, but I also need to eat. I've been on the outskirts of your village once or twice to trade goods. I saw you training. My name is Zhu. I have been called Sagacious Zhu, if you prefer a title. It's a name I share with the first emperor, Sagacious Tien. No wonder you came out here as you did. You're looking to rescue someone. You probably gave no thought to your own safety. That is very selfless of you. I tend to think more... efficiently. I did hear something about a camp. They seem to be killing bandits so they won't be disturbed. There wasn't much more. I just wanted some peace and quiet. No, I'm not interested in looking for trouble. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. As bad as this is, you're better off without my help. Dawnstar. I am familiar with that name. But I still can't. I've spent a long time avoiding trouble. I don't want to go looking for it now. I'm sorry. Wait. Dawn Star, your friend should not suffer because of my reluctance. A group of men went to the north. They had a large pack that was giving them trouble. That may be where their camp is. There's no way to leave the marsh in that direction. Not on foot, anyway. I will show you. It is easy to get lost. You don't know me. Never forget that. Fine, whatever. I will try not to make you regret it. Your task is probably complicated enough as it is. Let's go. The main camp is to the north, but there are soldiers all around this area. If you want to find trouble, let's do it quickly. I'm not quitting this game until I find Dawnstar. Your quarry has based himself in the north. There are paths right and left, but I doubt one is any safer than the other. Well, what have we here? More outlaws? They're everywhere. Gao was right to order them killed, even if just to keep the camp clear while he secures his woman. This ain't one of our soldier. You can't fool us. If Gao wants us out of the swamp, you'll have to fight us every step. Looks like the soldiers have taken control from the bandits who 